And we are back, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Tactical Debate, part two of TF2 versus Overwatch. Wel welcoming back our two representatives from last time, Bob and Randy. Welcome back to the show, Bob and Randy. Yo. Hello. You, you two are very, very modest people, but, but let's get back to it. So, first up, m missed one of our couple of uh, topics from last time. Hopefully we can wrap this debate up really quickly. First up, the person who represents TF2 in the in the TF2v Overwatch video from Game Theorist, once again, this debate is, ne is not about choosing which game is better or worse. It's just listing up some facts and, you know, debating and talking about these facts that they seem to have mentioned but neglected to mention some key things about in the video, which has gotten quite a few people riled up about how they misrepresent both games. So, the next topic is the, uh, oh my, oh my goodness, I, I'm losing my words. Ah, the TF2 person, or the person representing TF2 talks about the different game modes compared to Overwatch's, uh, pay, which is a version of Payload and King of the Hill and Capture and Control Point. He mentions how TO2 has multiple game modes, lots of game modes, but he only ever mentions Team Deathmatch. So, uh, how, how, how would you two uh, talk about this? Like, say, would you say that uh, TF2 does have a lot of game modes compared to Overwatch? I mean,. I mean, one game has had over nine years to actually build up to itself, but compared to the other one that's only been out for maybe three, four months, correct? I think it's been out a little more than three months. Well, officially three months, talking about Overwatch. Yeah. Um, the... The game modes for TF2 tend to be more uh, removed from each other. You you pick one or the other, whereas Overwatch seems to want to blur them together. Uh, often in a number of the maps, you start off as a capture point, and then it transitions to a payload delivery. And, uh, and that's one of the bigger differences between the two games, is that they seem to want to mix them together in Overwatch, whereas TF2 tends to keep them separate. All right, got anything to say say about that, Randy? Um, I mean, he's not wrong. I just feel like if I play Payload, that I I want to play Payload. I don't want to have uh, control points or whatever uh, mixed in with it. Okay, so you would say that. Uh, while you would want to play Payload, you you want to specifically say you want, you will specifically want to play Payload. You you enjoy Payload a lot more than uh, King of the Hill or Control Point, so you could play Payload especially. But is there Team Deathmatch? I don't remember if there is Team Deathmatch. I it has been a long time since I played something like that. In Team Fortress, there is not a team official Team Deathmatch. There is not. And the same goes for Overwatch. <laughs> oh my goodness. So, Team Deathmatch. Uh, I don't know where they got that from. Yeah. But, um, okay, let's move on to our next one. Actually, actually, if there's something else I forgot to talk about, but we'll get to that later. The next one is the healers. Overwatch definitely does do healers, uh, perhaps a little better than TF2, but that's only because... It gives healers more variety. Up oh, now, now, Randy, just just let me say it first before you start, to, uh, you know, throwing out the gauntlet. So I'm gay. Oh uh, well, it's it's on it's on YouTube now. Everyone, Randy's gay. <laughs> okay, actually, they while Overwatch does have more healers per se. Would you say that uh, that just this variety in choosing how you want to be a healer would you say that uh, overwatch does inspire people more to be healers in overwatch whereas tf2 you only really have the medic for healing and 
would you say that there it you're not really inspired to be the medic in TF2? I mean, how how would you respond to that, Randy? Um, well, I feel like Overwatch is just rebalanced so constantly that there's always only like one relevant healer. Like, I know at the beginning of Overwatch, the meta was um Mercy and it's kind of swapped over to uh Lucio, but I also think now that um, it's also not a, a bad idea to run Lucio along with Zenyatta. But, I mean, it's just kind of excessive. I don't know. I mean, I feel the med does the job for Team Fortress. Yeah, the, the game styles between the two games are pretty different uh, in the sixes category, which is really the only time that TF2 really gets close to what Overwatch does, because TF2 in general, with its pubs and its servers, have more people playing against each other in bigger maps. And Overwatch, Overwatch. tends to focus on small 6v6 things, and there is that league of 6v6 that TF2 does have. Um, the meta for Overwatch currently seems to run with um, two tanks, two healers, two DPSs, and that's pretty much set in stone for the most part, currently. Alright, so you also mentioned something about a comp about competitive for six, or TF2, where TF2 does have like competitive sixes similar to what Overwatch runs, but we we definitely we also did say that TF2 is more oriented toward a you know a larger game style. I mean, Randy, you are on Team Roadkill for UGC Gold, which is Highlander. So, uh, uh, correct me if I am wrong, but Highlander is more oriented for nine players on one team and nine players on the other team. With since there are nine classes in over not Overwatch TF2. Oh my goodness, people people slap me someone with a fish. But TF2 does have nine classes, and each <laughs> class is represented in competitive, I believe it's Highlander mode, correct? Yes. And the healer is most... Would you say, how would you play, or how would you uh, rate the... Uh, healer's job in say tf2 compared to the current two healer meta in overwatch how would i rate the like job? say would you say yeah how would you say if you could rate the two jobs like say if you were a healer if you were a healer in tf2 and a healer in overwatch would you say you had a more serious job in tf2 compared to the job in overwatch well I know in Overwatch, for the healers, you have more opportunities to deal damage, but, I mean, personally, I enjoy the medic class a lot, so, I mean, it doesn't bother me that I have to spend most of my time healing. The medigun is a really, uh, It's a, it's a really design. powerful weapon. Yeah, it's, a re it's, it's probably one of the most powerful weapons in TF2, even if it doesn't do anything any quote unquote damage I mean would you would you correct me, correct me if I'm wrong yeah it's um, it probably is the most powerful I mean if you include the overcharge that's yeah which is pretty much what the metagun is based around so it, it you would definitely say it is a very powerful weapon correct yes all right Bob since you're speaking for overwatch uh, how would you uh, rate the uh, seriousness of the job for Overwatch healers compared to TF2's healer? It's a serious job because they are required. Um, in, in competitive, it's pretty much required to have healers both in both games. Um, Overwatch's do have uh, more opportunities for dealing damage and perhaps more utility roles. Some of them have stun abilities, and uh, some of them have debuff abilities that increase the damage your team can output on a particular target. So I, I, think, I think it changes, changes their roles a little bit in that they're not straight up healing, they're doing more than one thing. 
and and that's just for an entirely different preference of play style. Yeah, all it really right. comes down to down. preference. All right, it, all right, it's cool, man. All right, now our final topic, as we are starting to run into our ten minute mark, or maybe it's the ten minute mark. I, for, I forget, but we are, but the topic of competitiveness. They talk about in I believe Matt Pat refers to Overwatch's competitiveness as being rewarding those who are really hardcore competitive whereas TF2 doesn't really re reward the people who are competitive who there's just they don't really talk about competitive for TF2 but I think they they did forget to mention like one key fact in that when they were making TF2 many years ago it wasn't with the idea of competitive n mode in mind like they weren't thinking this game is going to be an esports one two years down the road uh, am i correct randy well at the beginning yes that's true because esports i mean they really weren't a a thing well I'll say they weren't a sustainable job at that time when the TF2 was released in 2007, but Valve has recognized the competitive community. Uh, uh, to be yeah. honest, I feel like Mad Pat has maybe played Team Fortress for like 20 minutes, but I mean, I think that's about it. Nah, let's let's keep it. Let's keep, try to you know save the uh, save the hate on on Mad Pat and such for comments and let's I'm good. Uh, I know I know you've told us all but when like say from game development Overwatch was developed to be a very competitive mode competitive game correct Bob they when they put it out they definitely had in mind uh, a competitive scene for it yeah they definitely wanted people to you know work together towards completing really competitive objectives like say they wanted people to push objectives they wanted people to work together in teams and such when they were making T team fortress 2 while they definitely were thinking about teams they weren't they weren't thinking of small squads of six players working you know being very serious together they were they were mostly concerned with large 12v12 teams in which like say the team composition can vary drastically which is probably why TF2 is the way the way it has been viewed for so long as just this really casual FPS whereas T whereas when you look at Overwatch people you see a bunch of people who are really serious they they seem to form their own six man groups in which they they are all communicating together and that's basic that's pretty much the image at least when from my layman's perspective i mean i know i probably know more but i'm just pretending i don't know anything i mean when i see when i when i think of tf2 i think of the the tf2 meme such as it costs four hundred thousand dollars to fire this weapon for 12 seconds but when I think of Overwatch, I think of people unleashing death blossoms and six man killing six man teams and Mercy's doing five man reses and at critical junctures. But when I but when I see TF2, I don't think of anything like that. I just think of a uh, heavy weapons guy spamming his weapon and screaming "Cry some more." So, how would you both respond to that little uh, statement? Like, start, um, let's start with yeah, let's start with Randy. Well, Team Fortress 2, like I said, was designed at the beginning. It was a cartoon stylized game. They designed it that way, but and they designed it to be a casual game and they saw the player base was um, already forming competitive uh, like leagues and such around 2008. So, I mean, they definitely um, recognized their existence and they've uh, uh, balanced some stuff accordingly, but I will say that Overwatch, when you join, when you play Overwatch, it's a more competitive experience than when you hop on Team Fortress. And, uh, 
because it's already a six-man queue and the ranked competitive is actually not too far off the high level teams uh, what the actual metas are when you get a high level in ranked matchmaking whereas Team Fortress you may play the queue up for so-called competitive but it's six versus six but there's no class limits and there's no whitelist so it's not really an actual representation of six versus six all right bob your response um overwatch can be a little more competitive i suppose mainly because it, it's smaller groups of people so you want to feel like you're contributing and i feel like overwatch definitely took advantage of the fact that it came much later and took advantage of some of the stuff that TF2 has already established with its sixes category in establishing their teams. And uh, TF2, I spent a fair amount of time playing it in the past, and 90% of my time was probably spent fucking around. Alright, so I guess, I guess that is the end of the end of our little tactical debates I don't think any I I don't think that uh, Overwatch I personally don't think Overwatch will replace TF2 I mean both games are quote unquote team based or team class shooters but they both play so very differently and they both feel and look so very differently that I think there is plenty of room in in the world for both games. I I don't think one is going to replace the other or be overshadowed by the other. So, how how do you guys feel about that particular uh, statement about say about the Overwatch's replacing TF2 argument? How how do you guys respond to that little thing? Um, I don't think it's replacing it. It just came later and. Uh, TF2 still has a very strong player base, especially for a game that's been out for 10 years and was never really uh, advertised as a competitive game. But, I mean, Team Fortress 2 is literally the, like, the, the grandfather of class-based shooters. Like, class-based shooters, it's even apparent in Overwatch. They, all of them are... Everyone follows the TF2 example. Mm-hmm. All right, Bob. I'm gay. Yeah. TF2 is not going anywhere. Overwatch isn't replacing it. They're they're similar games in that they're class-based shooters. However, they're so drastically different. They're different games. It's it's like trying to compare League of Legends and Dota 2. Sure, they're kind of both the same game. They're both MOBAs, but the game style and gameplay types are just so drastically different. They are totally different games. All right, I think that is, this will wrap up our tactical debate. Join us next time, ladies and gentlemen, for more tactical debates. I'm Imperator Davis, and this has been Randy and Bob. We will perhaps see you next time. We will perhaps see...